Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be discussing the SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorial. So in this one we're going to look at the, the hook and in the next two tutorials we'll be looking at the, uh, the other bullet points. So the simulation express can help you reduce cost and time to market by testing your designs on the computer rather than in the field. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the simulation add-in is not ticked. So for that we're going to go into tools, uh, add-ins and check that the SOLIDWORKS simulation is not ticked. Okay. So firstly we're going to open up the model which I've already done. So you can do that by clicking the link here. And now we're going to uh, open up the Simulation Express. So for that, we're going to go into Tools, Express Products, and Simulation. Okay. We're going to click on the options and make sure it is in pounds. And we're going to click Browse uh, so we can save the data where we would like to. But in my case, I'm happy with it in that location. So the first thing we're going to add is a fixture. So a fixture is a is a face which is fixed, if you like. <laughs> uh, so this will not move. Um, so if we add a fixture, this face here, as you can see from this little um, video in the corner, the green face is fixed and does not move when a force is applied. So I'll take that. So the next thing is to apply a force. So for this we're going to go add a force, click these two faces, we're going to select a direction, so we're going to add in plane 2, and here we can see the arrows are pointing upwards, which uh, is wrong, so we'll need to flip the direction, like so, and we're going to also enter the, a force of 1500. So the next step is to add a material and SOLIDWORKS wants us to add a alloy steel. So I'm going to go choose material, uh, go into the steel drop down, then alloy steel. To apply that and close, I'm going to go next. But before we do we can see the Young's modulus and the yield strength of the material we selected which SOLIDWORKS will use to calculate um, the stress analysis and the displacement and that kind of thing. So we're going to click next and we're going to click uh, run the simulation. So here we can see the animation of what will happen when we apply the load. So this is a good indication to see if we've applied the loads correctly and the, uh, fixing, fi fi yeah, the fixing points. Um, so we are happy with the deform shape so we are going to click yes and here we can see the the factor of safety is 7.59 which is above one this indicates that the material will not fail um, so we'll just go to the next one um, so yeah it will not expect to fail under the specific loads and fixtures we have a quick look into the factor of safety this basically says that um, because it's greater than one, the material has not started to yield yet, so it's still acting within its linear range. So now we're going to go back and change the element size. So for that, we're going to click Run, Change Setting. Uh, we're going to change the mesh density and click OK to that. So over this side we can see that currently we are not particularly running a fine mesh or a coarse mesh, it's kind of in the middle. So SOLIDWORKS wants us to remesh it uh, but dragging it over to the fine side. So this will give a more accurate answer but the computing time will be longer. 
Um, however, because it's such a simple model, we won't even notice that um, extra calculating time. So, okay, click next, and we run the simulation again. So here we can see the the um, the factory safety has increased by about one percent. The voltage, which shows um, uh, both results are in the the same region, I'm happy with our answer. However, this one will be slightly more accurate because the mesh is finer. So now we're going to look at the von Mises stress and see what that has to show. So we can see the red section is uh, an area of high stress and we can tell that it hasn't met or exceeded the yield stress which is good and suggests the material has not failed. Uh, so we can play the animation and we can see the stress changing as the load is applied. So now we're going to look at the displacement and we can see here the displacement is relatively small um, and we can see the areas which are most affected. So if we want we can produce a Microsoft Word report um, or an e-drawings file however for the purpose of this I am not going to go into that but it's just a case of clicking this button and it'll generate a report and from that it has like screenshots of um, the stress, the von Mises stress and that kind of thing which is good however in reality you won't be looking at all the things on there it has to show because uh, you'll maybe be looking at just the displacement or the stress on its own it shows more than you need to um, for most applications and it's Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's there if you need it. And now we can just click next. And we can, we're not going to optimize the model. And we have completed the first stage of this tutorial. Please check out the next video, uh, which will cover the next part of this tutorial.